When corn is at its peak in the season, I love to transform it into a sweet corn soup. Now I've removed all the kernels off the cob so they're ready to go. But before I start making my soup, I want to serve it with a really delicious crumble. This crumble has blanched almonds in it. I need about a handful and I'm going to blend it so it turns into a fine crumb. Along with the blanched almonds, I'm going to add some pancetta, about three or four slices. And then a herb that goes really nicely with the pancetta and the almonds is thyme. And thyme also goes really nicely with corn. So it's a match made in heaven. Now I'm going to pulse this until it's really fine. Okay, within moments I have the most incredible crumb. Look at that. See how everything's the same size? And it smells delicious. So into a separate bowl, and I'm not going to clean the bowl. It's okay if some of that flavour is in the soup. We'll place it back onto the base and we'll reserve that for later. Now for the soup. The basis of my sweet corn soup is leeks. I love leeks because they are really sweet. So one leek, and I'm just using the white and light part of the leek. That can go in along with one clove of garlic. And again, I'm just going to chop this until it's really fine. Okay, that is perfectly chopped, nice and fine. Now I'm going to take this blade out and add the mixing blade because it's going to chop and cook the soup at the same time. And now I need to fry off the leek and the garlic. So a good glug of olive oil, roughly around one tablespoon. And I like to add a pinch of salt at this stage so the leeks sweat off a little easier. And then we're going to cook this for about five minutes until it's softened. Now that the leeks have sweated off, they're really soft, we can add our corn. So all that corn can go in. And we need some liquid. So I've made a homemade vegetable stock, but you can just use some packet stock if you like. I'm going to start with a litre and a half of stock. So that's one and half. And now all I'm going to do is place the lid back on. Now I've got a soup function here. So this is going to take 40 minutes to cook and then blend. But if you don't have this, of course, you can just cook this the classic way in a pot and then use a stick blender or a blender to blitz the soup at the end. Now, while this is cooking, it's going to take 40 minutes. I'm going to make my crumble. So just in a pan over here, I'm going to pop the heat on, add a little bit of olive oil, and then once that warms up, I'm going to add the pancetta and almond mix and constantly toss it in the oil until it goes golden brown and crunchy. Now that my soup is completely cooked and blended, I'm going to put the finishing touch to it, which is a little bit of cream. So a few tablespoons in, and then I'll blitz it again for about five seconds. This soup is perfectly creamy and you can see that it's retained its gorgeous colour. Now I did add some cream to the soup, but just for presentation, I'm going to add just a little bit more cream to the top. Just drizzle it around for that lovely marbled effect. And then look how crunchy this topping is. This is almonds and the pancetta, so it's completely gluten-free. And then I'm going to top that with lots of that crunchy topping. And just to show off the time that we did add in it, I'm going to sprinkle that on top. What a beautiful soup celebrating sweet seasonal corn.